When I think about the oh, that's way rare, isn't it? There's no rust there. There are actually not even any dinks, and this is probably what an early 1980s language. I know that I am so much better, better. When I look at what I've done, now that we're apart, when I look at what I've done, Weird. Won, I've come Popcorn so and fries mix. All of my so stuff is over there, so I can't really to run back. Monica. Welcome back to the channel. Good evening from Tenerife. This is about eight hours later than we'd usually start filming because a drive-in cinema has just opened about five weeks ago in Tenerife and we are now fully <laughs> stacked up. Not a box of motorcycle gear, but actually this only took, can you believe in 2022, it would only take five months for this to arrive from Australia over here. Thank you so much, Shannon. So we've got, all the Australians will know this, everyone else will have no idea. Tim Tams, Anzac, in a biscuit, something koala chocolates. <laughs> do you know what? We're just going to take the whole lot with us. We don't need to spend any money when we're there on food. These will be in the back seat. We'll stop, we'll get drinks when we're there. It's about an hour and a half till sunset. Let's go. I do not take proper care of this car. I cannot even keep the screen wash topped up, so I've just realized it's completely empty. Won't be able to actually watch the film. So, gotta make sure Monica can see the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And Thank you. I've also got something to show you. And that is a SISAP device for the car. Now, you may be laughing and wondering, Freddie, I don't think the Fiat is going to be the first car in the lineup that people want to steal, but there are lots of different people with lots of different cars, and you may well have your pride and joy, just like I do with the Bonneville. So while I can be safe at night knowing that this probably won't be stolen, if I had a car that I loved as much as the Bonneville, I would very seriously consider buying one of these. This is called the OBD device. And if you're like me, you don't like any kind of fitting, this is a dream. This is all you need to do. Plug it in to the OBD port like that. I should say actually check. It's about six centimeters in width. Check that it will actually fit in your car with the panel on. So make sure you measure six centimeters or so to check for fitting. That is now in. That's all it is. It is as simple as that. You then go on to the app. I registered it earlier and now I've got my Fiat 500 there and my Bonneville there and I can now check each of the cars. And I can even pretend I've got a Ford Mustang because that's the actual image. There it is. I can check the battery. I can check exactly where it is. Everything that I can do on my, and it's just, just said that it's, it's registered. Everything I can do on my Bonneville, I can now do on the car as well. Sysap also, important thing to mention for the US market, Sysap now have a 4G device. It used to only be 2G. So whereas in Europe, 2G is fine for the next five to 10 years plus, in the US, you need 4G. So if you're in the US, you need to buy the 4G model. Some people are already buying the 4G model in Europe, but in reality, it's fine for the next 10 years. There's a 15% discount code, Freddy15, for any 2G device. But for the 4G device, there's already a discount code for a temporary period, which is 250 euros, all the way down to 220 euros, but you can't use my code for the 4G device. So if you've got a car that's your pride and joy, have a look at one of those. Okay. Windscreen cleaned, sweets packed, SISAP device on. We've actually got an hour and a half before the film starts. I think we got massively overexcited and we're gonna head off. <laughs> we're gonna head off and be waiting like idiots for about one and a quarter hours for the cinema because it's the first ever drive-in cinema I'll have been to. But it's seven o'clock now and this for me this is what quality of life means. You just want to be out, even in the evenings here, it's March, it's light until 7.30. You just wanna be out all the time. And what that means is we can spend our money all day. So we're <laughs> almost completely bankrupt now because the whole time we're out spending money, it's brilliant and awful at the same time. 
Actually, because we're so early, this will be a really good opportunity to show you our local town. This is just five minutes from us, Los Abregos. It's, it's very local. It's not that touristy as far as we can see, but it should be a nice little spot for a sunset beer. Maybe to pass 40 minutes or in perfect timing for the cinema. Oh, look at the moon. It's wow. beautiful. Glorious, isn't it? Although, actually, I don't think we're going to get the sunset because that, of course, is directly west and this is a south-facing bit of beach. But we'll do our best because I think there are a few bars just around the corner here. Old Land Cruiser. This, okay, please bear in mind, this is an absolutely used Land Cruiser that's probably used every day by a builder. It's showroom fresh condition Look, there's no rust anywhere though actually not even any dinks and this is probably what an early 1980s land cruiser <laughs> the, no, the suspension there's no, no rust here, at all oh come on that's <laughs> surface rust that's immaculate look at this that would usually in the uk be covered in rust i'm embarrassing mark i've got to go but this is this is just incredible what you get when there's no salt on the roads no rain nothing immaculate and it's a used van Oh, that's rare, isn't it? It's like a, a pickup style one. Very rare to see one of those. Can I say immaculate for two vehicles running? That is a very special vehicle. Wow. If anyone has any interesting facts on this, let me know because it's not common to see one with this setup and it's a double cab so you've got a bench sheet in the back and the front as well definitely renovated because it's in this lovely just off olive color art I'll show you a bit of Los Abregos because I'll be completely honest, I ordered two glasses of wine and I think I ordered with a lady who was just finishing her shift. So I ordered it with her and then 20 seconds later, I saw her walking out of the restaurant with her bag and I honestly don't think she's put the drinks through. So I've just seen Monica still waiting, waiting about 20 minutes. So as every minute that goes by, I am less sure that we're actually going to get a drink before we head off. But this is it. Lots of little predominantly fish restaurants here and all of the fishing boats just down there. And of course you can't smell it, but there is a very pleasant smell that you get from these fish food restaurants with all of the fish coming out there from the boats. It's a nice little place. It's not that touristy, but it's got a nice authentic feel here. Blanco or Altro? Which one do you want? Which side? So, first line maybe, no? This one, yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh. 
Oh, this is exciting. Okay, we go in through the entrance. This cost 15 euros 50, just to give you an idea. For two people. For two people and the car as well. We've been told to tune in to 90, 91.0 on the radio. And that should be somehow the the audio from the film behind us and we'll take you with us you've got a few different food stations and shannon thank you so much shannon for this because we've got so many treats all the way from australia oh, i'm excited about this we were actually wondering why, why are they showing it so late at 8 30 but of course then we realized it has to be pitch black for them to show it and only sun well the sun only sets here at 7 40 so they have to show it from about 8 30 onwards so there's only i think there are one or two showings a day and we've got the 8 31 in i should say and i forgot in english mm. this film as well so for any brits who unlike well who like us are a bit too pathetic to be good enough at spanish the english showings are for you Monica's just asked to get some popcorn, but we've got a whole box. But you have a sweet tooth. And yeah, I've got a sweet tooth. That's the thing. Monica prefers popcorn. So maybe we'll get a bit of popcorn for Monica. I will finish about 50% of those Australian sweets. And you can get drinks here as well. But from what I can see, this is really well run. So this is the food area here. Lou's there. Seating area there. And if you flip, We've got about 10 minutes until the start of the film, and you've got three, five, six, seven, about eight cars or so. But I guess on the weekend, this would all be packed. The film's about to start. Monica, what have you got in here? Popcorn and fries. This is a, fries. a weird popcorn and fries mix. <laughs> all of my stuff is over there. So, okay, we need to run back. Okay. Monica. No, that looks bad. I don't like a gentleman. Give me that, Monica. Quick, give me that. Right, okay. As Monica tucks into those, <laughs> I will... Oh. You have to say that you've eaten half of that box already. Yeah, half of this box is already gone. Do you know what? I'm going to start with... with these, I think. Mm. Can I have a chip, Monica? No. Cool, great. Perfect. I'll just have these in. Thank you. Oh, that's Amarillo. Golf and Marina. I've heard of that. It's a luxury resort, golf oh, resort in Tenerife. Mm. <gasps> oh, it works. Oh, it does work. Oh, wow. And that's good. That looks good. Gira la derecha, soldado. Vamos a atajar por el valle. Estamos seguro, mi capitán. Mm hmm. Eso está en el aire. Thank you. Just thought, I hope. The battery will last an hour and a half for a film. Obviously, you can't have the engine on, because if you have the engine on, then that means the lights are going to be on and it will distract people. And no one else, no one else has, no, no one else has lights on. So, does a car battery last for the length of a film? <laughs> I hope it does, because I just turned the car engine on just to think, oh, maybe I'll put the engine on, you know, so the battery doesn't die. People are looking at me, so. That's not an option. And this will be interesting. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things you took from me, I know that I am so much better, better. When I look at what I've done, now that we are apart, when I look at what I've won, I've come so far. Well, it's about 11 o'clock and Monica and I both in complete agreement. That is a brilliant way to spend the evening. So if you're in Tenerife, we highly recommend it. I'll include all of the details in the written description below. And you've got nothing to worry about with regards to the car battery. I checked it on SysApp at the end and even without the engine being on at all, speakers blaring with the, the film music and the film audio, negligible battery usage so you can go there and rest easy just enjoy the film thanks so much for coming on with us today and we will see you in the next one